On a road, and she bangs and scores, and she's fouled to the left of the basket, fouled by Christensen. And Holy Family has claimed the lead at 7-5 to five and a 5 nothing run. And Cecilia Onarud stands at 6-1. So she's got the size advantage and the free throw is in. Holy Family with an 8-5 lead. They're on a 6-0 run. Now Fort Morgan's got to answer. Maddie Griffith in the backcourt had the ball stripped out of bounds by Gudino. Mustangs retain possession to the right of the bench. Christensen to throw it in in the backcourt. Feeds Maddie Griffith. Near the timeline, here's Lauren Keller. And then she tried to jump pass it and then came down with the basketball because she knew had she passed that ball, it would have been picked off. And the Mustangs commit their fourth turnover. And now she's out of the game for Ali Bauman. Mitch Elrick going with a very tight rotation here. He's already substituted three times in the opening three minutes of the game. With a basketball near the top is Amanda Ward. She scored the first bucket for Holy Family. They're working in a 6-0 run past poked out of bounds by Bauman near midcourt. Holy Family retains possession of the basketball with an 8-5 lead. They took the lead on a three-point play by Cecilia Onarud. Inbounds pass to McKenzie just near midcourt. Dribbles against Bauman, left to the lane, into the lane, and then she throws up a prayer, and it's an offensive foul. She scored, but it didn't count. Allie Christensen took the contact. She was standing in the middle. Gudino forced it, and the made shot is disallowed. Fort Morgan basketball. That's great defense. The Mustangs have already accepted a couple of those charges. Ali Bauman with a jump pass to Maddie Griffith. Crossover dribble. Cross the timeline. Two on two. Maddie Griffith pulls up 13-footer. Is short straight away. And the ball is volleyballed into the hands of Onaru. That's the first rebound for the leading rebounder for this team. On the outside right, here is Amanda Ward with a three. And it's off the back side of the rim. But it's chased down by Gudino. In the right corner. Now dribbles to her left against Maddie Griffith. Gets a pick looking for Onaru. She's cut off over there at the free throw line for Ward. On the outside left, McKenzie tries to feed Onarud. She's cut off. Feeds it right corner. Whitlock, three. Yes. Tighter Whitlock scores. Another three-pointer for Whitlock. Holy Family's in a 9-0 run. They lead 11-5 with 3.58 to go. In the opening quarter, timeout Fort Morgan. 30-second timeout. And we'll keep it right here. Mustangs will be home coming up this week. We'll talk about those games a little bit later on during the broadcast. But again, this Holy Family team, don't look at that 3-4 and four record. They have significant talent. I can tell you the C-team boys won earlier today. Fort Morgan C-team has been dominant. They have not lost a game. JV did lose by 11. And they were right there. They were down by three with just about six minutes to go. So some pretty good basketball today. Fort Morgan basketball. Maddie Griffith in the backcourt, double teamed. Overhead pass to Wheatley, crosses midcourt on the outside left. Bounce pass in the corner to Bauman, up top to Griffith. Griffith looking at the basket, but she's five feet behind the line on the high left to Bauman, guarded by McKenzie. Holy Family playing very tight defense on the outside right to Keller. Free throw line off the hands of Frasco, and the ball is loose. Keller, check that. That is Griffith at midcourt. In the right corner, Christensen three. Yes! Allie Christensen again with a triple. That stops the 9-0 run, and Fort Morgan draws to within three. It's 11-8 with 3.17 to go first quarter. Across the timeline, here is McKenzie for Holy Family. Double team, lost the ball. Oh, but she was tripped up. That'll be a foul on Fort Morgan. Should be the second team foul. That was committed by Ali Bauman. Both teams have committed two here in the first quarter. And again, substitution. Autumn Wheatley is out. Destiny Pelton is in. Just beyond midcourt. Triggered in near the timeline to McKenzie. McKenzie against Bauman with a right-handed dribble towards the basket. Cut off by two Mustangs at the top for Ward. Swings it right baseline for Whitlock. Double team. Back out. Long three McKenzie. And she misses off to the left. 
And the ball is rebounded, though, by Ward. And they reset. Now a long shot is up off the back of the rim. Missed by Gudino. Ali Christensen has the rebound on a bounce. In the backcourt to Bauman. Overhead pass to Christensen. Then that pass is taken near the timeline by Matty Griffith. Griffith picks up her dribble. Overhead pass to Bauman. Right of the lane. Free throw line for Whitney Frasco. Kicks it back out of the bounce to Matty Griffith. She'll slow down the tempo with two and a half to go in the opening quarter. And Fort Morgan trailing 11-8. On the high left, Pelton. And then she forced a pass inside. Not a smart pass there. And it was poked away. That'll be a Fort Morgan foul. She tried to force it into Pelton. And then it was Pelton going for the loose ball who committed the foul. <laughs> First substitution for Holy Family. Noel Garden is in. And Garden triggers it in to Gudino. The leading score has been held in check. She's averaging 12 points a game, but nothing here in the opening quarter. Here is Garden down low for Anaru. Dribbles, turns, hooks, misses short. She gets the rebound, puts it back up and in off the glass. anaru has got five in the opening quarter. Holy Family now leads 13 to eight, 203 to go in the first. Maddie Griffith, overhead pass, and that is poked out of bounds over there by Whitlock. And Holy Family retains possession. Here comes Lauren Keller into the game. She'll replace Ali Bellman. And to throw it in, just beyond midcourt is Keller. Over to Frasco. Frasco at the top here for Maddie Griffith. Griffith with a basketball. On the high left for Lauren Keller. In the left corner is Pelton back out to Keller. And then they're going to back it way out. Christensen is about eight feet behind the three-point line. On the high left to Pelton. Don't want to force that in there. Holy Family playing a 2-3 right now. On the outside right to Matty Griffith. Back out to Christensen. Left wing three. And it's off the back of the rim. Rebound. And the shot is blocked out of bounds as Frasco grabbed the rebound. But rejected out of bounds by Caitlin McKenzie. Fort Morgan retains possession with 91 seconds to go in the first. Trailing by five. Dylan Sanders checks in for Holy Family. And Caitlin McKenzie is out. So two substitutions for the Tigers here in the first. Christensen. Lobs it at the top for Frasco. Back out to Keller. Left corner Christensen. Another three, and that's off the front of the rim. Didn't follow her shot. And had she, she would have gotten the rebound. Instead of all, just bounces out of bounds. Holy Family looking to increase the five-point lead. Fort Morgan's played a pretty good first quarter, but again, against this Holy Family defense, tough to score. And six of their eight points have been three-pointers by Christensen. The other two are free throws by Keller. With a basketball as Sanders back out straight away into the game. Alyssa Wells kicks it left baseline for Anarud. Dribbles, leans, banks, and misses. Too strong. Maddie Griffith with a rebound for Fort Morgan. 59 seconds to go in the first. Griffith looking. Overhead pass at the top for Lauren Keller. Dribbles into the lane all the way. Puts it up off the back of the rim. No good. And the rebound is controlled by Holy Family's Dylan Sanders. There's the outlet to Gabby Thomas. Thomas over to Anarud. Back out to Sanders. Sanders on the outside right. Feeds it over to Alyssa Wells. Now down low for Anarud. Straight away. Now a three in the air. And that is in and out. And the rebound is controlled by Frasco. It was missed by Alyssa Wells. Frasco's second rebound. Here's Matty Griffith on the high right. Christensen was open but kicks it back out to Keller. Now to Matty Griffith holding the ball on her right hip. With 16 seconds to go now to Keller. Mustangs looking for the final shot here of the opening quarter, down to 10 seconds to go. Griffith to Keller, hands it off to Griffith, six seconds to go, crossover dribble with five, way behind the line, free throw line for Keller, dribble the ball off a foot, and it was off of a Holy Family foot out of bounds, but only four tenths of a second to go. And that's not gonna be enough really to get off a quality shot. Frasco will check in for Griffith for the final four tenths here in the first quarter. Christensen looking, just get it in. In order to be called for five seconds, she does the counter, but she dribbled, and a dribble is going to dribble out the clock here in the first quarter. With the score, Holy Family 13, Fort Morgan 8. It's a one minute break on B106 and B106.com. Let's hit the second quarter. Holy Family leads Fort Morgan 13 8. John Beltran with you. Sound engineer and producer today back in studios, Herrick Curtis. Emma Wolf for the basketball. Back out to Lauren Keller. Keller to her right. Boy, she was fouled over there. No whistle. Then tried to flip it over. It's taken away by Dylan Sanders. 
Fort Morgan only with their fifth turnover, but Holy Family's got one. And then the shot is up and missed by Alyssa Wells on the left baseline. And Lauren Keller is the Fort Morgan rebounder, second. Keller across the timeline, trailing by five of the Mustangs. Keller, free throw line, there's a foul. Frasco received the pass, and Aaron Winters, her first appearance in the game, committed the foul, the team's third. Fort Morgan had three fouls in the opening quarter. And here comes Maddie Griffith and Clementina Numerolango. Pelton and Frasco are out. Boys game will start at approximately 3.50. No later than 4 o'clock since we had about a 25 minute late time here. Clementina Numerolango is fouled on the drive to the basket. Off the inbounds pass from Emma Wolf and Ron Rossi, the Holy Family head coach, is livid. Foul was committed by Noel Garden. And now Numero Longo to the line. Only three free throws attempted by both teams in the first quarter. That's a total of three. And now Fort Morgan's got two to begin the second. The free throw is in. Mustangs hanging tough with his team, 13-9. In favor of Holy Family, 33 seconds into the second. Medalango. Bends, dribbles, spins, dribbles, shoots, and scores. 13 to 10, Holy Family. Mustangs, like they did in the first quarter, score the first points. Actually, Holy Family scored the first points of the game, then Fort Morgan scored five in a row. On the high right with the basketball is Sanders. Bounced down low, spinning, turning, and missing, going up an air ball over there for Holy Family was Winters, but coming away with the basketball is Sanders. Now they reset with the basketball on the right baseline as Winters looked like she traveled, and then she took another two steps. There you go. There's a traveling violation. Second turnover for Holy Family. Yeah, can't take that many steps. Should be 13 to 10. This is 13 to 9 on the board. She made both free throws. That's that's incorrect. Here we go again with a scoring issue. Christensen three. That's off the back of the rim. And it's out of bounds. That should say 13-10. Yeah, I don't you gotta look at that if you're a I don't know what goes on. Let's see, yeah, that should be corrected. There we go. One of the Fort Morgan assistants catching that. That is 13-10, straight away, three is up, and that is missed off the back of the rim, straight away. And Keller was on the end line. It was missed by Gabby Thomas. They still haven't corrected that. Well, what are they doing? One of the Fort Morgan assistants went over there. That, that just gets underneath my skin. Left baseline, Sanders, 15-footer is around and no good. Rebound, Winters, Banks, and she misses. Lauren Keller. Comes away with a rebound. I guess it's too hard to count by ones. I mean, I get being off on the score if it's a field goal, but not free throws. She made both of them. Lauren Keller on the high left, back out to Wolf. Wolf for the basketball, now to Keller. And then Keller had the ball stripped away by Alyssa Wells. Wells all the way, turns, banks, and scores. Mustangs commit their sixth turnover. And again, it says 15 to 9. Then a steal in the backcourt by Gabby Thomas. And then she's fouled by Griffith. Well, let's see if they correct that score. Well, was it a foul by Griffith? Let's see what happened there. Yeah, they're going five for five for Holy Family. All right, yep, it was a foul on Griffith. In the right corner with a basketball, Scudino into the lane, back out to Ward. Ward dribbles right in the lane all the way, scoops it up, and she missed it, got nothing but glass. Anarud, the rebound is fouled. Anarud to the strike. Let's see who committed the Fort Morgan foul. Looks like Numero Longo. I'm going to say the score the way it should be, and the free throw is short and off to the left. 15 to 10. And hopefully that will be corrected. I mean, it should have been corrected already. 
second free throw is in. Yeah, they didn't forget that free throw. Now they finally got the number up there. But they haven't scored Holy Family's free throw. And then Fort Morgan threw it out of bounds along the backcourt. You know, what are they doing with the can they not get to the single digits there? I wonder if there's a problem with the with the board over there. But they can't score single numbers. There's the entry pass into the lane on route, and then on route is fouled on the floor. Yeah, I'm assuming there's got to be a problem with the scoreboard that they can't get from one digit to the next, which is weird. Fort Morgan foul was committed by Emma Wolf. There's the inbound pass and a threes and air ball missed to the corner over there by Genevieve Godino. Christensen comes away with a basketball. Christensen with her third rebound in the backcourt to Bauman. Overhead pass to Christensen and Christensen threw it into the Holy Family bench. Now Fort Morgan getting careless. Three turnovers in the first two minutes and 39 seconds. So I'll keep the score here because it should be 16 to 10. So it took a while to give Fort Morgan the point. And now Holy Family says 15 up there. So it, it's got to be the issue up there. And nonetheless, we'll keep it right here. And so far, the Mustangs have got six points from Christensen all in the opening quarter. And Cecilia Anarud for Holy Family leads them with six points along with Tyler Whitlock, who nailed two three-pointers in the first quarter. Fort Morgan back in action at home. We'll have the games on B106 and B106.com on Tuesday. And yeah, they, I think they got a yeah, Tuesday and Thursday are the home games next week. It'll be a doubleheader against Bertha at 5.30 for the girls, 7 o'clock for the boys. And then on Thursday, just one game because the girls will be in Windsor. We'll have the boys game at home against Windsor. Fort Morgan trailed 13 to 8 after the opening quarter. Down by six now. The board says five, but again, they probably have some issues at the table with the actual scoreboard. If they can't get to the number 16. All right, it'll be Holy Family basketball. The Mustangs will as we reset the lineup. Now, if Kelsey Callis in the game, Ali Christensen, Emma Wolf, Autumn Wheatley, and Ali Bauman is guarding Caitlin McKenzie. The outside left to Goodino. Goodino against Wolf. Left to the free throw line. Bounce pass. Left baseline for McKenzie. Straight away for Ward. Thinks about the three dribbles to her right. Back out straight away. Goodino dribbles into the lane. A left handed runner's off the back of the rim. Tipped around twice. And the rebound is controlled by Anaru. That's her third. Now the three by Ward is back rim. Allie Bauman couldn't control it. Instead, McKenzie has it into Goodino. She banks and misses. And then the ball's taken by Anaru. And she misses. And then Goodino's got it. And then she's fouled. Oh, the Mustangs could not get a rebound. They were doing well on the boards earlier. But now, well, they're only being out-rebounded 10 to 9. So they're really doing really, really well. And now they have 16 to 9 up there. They've taken away Fort Morgan. I, I don't get this. In and out. I'm going to go down there myself and clarify this at halftime. Free throw is... They correctly gave Fort Morgan the point, then they took it away. Should be 16 to 10 in favor of Holy Family. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem. I think there's a problem with who's working the game now. Gudino makes a second free throw. 17-10 should be the score. Here is Matty Griffith for Fort Morgan. Griffith with the basketball right in the lane. Griffith, overhead pass on the left wing. Here's Frasco's shot. That's no good. Namira Longo banks and scores. She was by herself as she grabbed the rebound. 17-12 should be the correct score. 4.23 to go in the second quarter. There's the handoff to Gudino. Gudino against Keller on the outside right to McKenzie. Then the entry pass is poked away, but it's taken over there by a wide open Cecilia Onrud, and she banked it in with the left hand. 19 to 12 on the outside right with the basketball straight away. Now the three by Griffith is short, and the rebound is taken by Caitlin McKenzie. McKenzie, long pass to Ward. She banks, misses, and a def defensive foul. Yep, Keller was not set. Check it, Griffith not set. And 
to the stripe is Amanda Ward. Ward to shoot two. We're going to check the score here momentarily at, at the break. Free throws in and out. For Amanda Ward, second free throw upcoming. Holy Family's got their biggest lead of, well, <laughs> I'll say it's seven. Let's put it that way. And if they don't change it at halftime, then I don't know. Second free throw is in. It's 20 to 11. Maddie Griffith in the backcourt. Overhead pass over to Pelton. Then her overhead pass off the hands of Keller beyond midcourt. And it's taken away by Tyler Whitlock. That is the eighth turnover for Fort Morgan. Holy Family with only two. McKenzie back out. Whitlock left wing three is well short of the bottom of the rim. It's off of Amanda Ward out of bounds. And Fort Morgan basketball. Allie Christensen has been the offense for the most part for the Mustangs. She checks in. Destiny Pelton is out. Maddie Griffith in the backcourt. Maddie Griffith overhead pass to Frasco. Then she threw a pass to Nomara Longo that went off her hands. They're forcing too many passes. That is nine turnovers for Fort Morgan. That was intercepted by Ward. Straight away is Gudino. Left corner McKenzie. And she traveled. Only the third turnover there for Holy Family. And it will be Lauren Keller to get it into Ali Christensen. Lobs it in the front court towards Frasco. Another bad pass. Intercepted there by Whitlock all the way. Banks scores and a foul on Fort Morgan. Lauren Keller slid in too late. And Lauren Keller commits her first foul. Mustangs have seven turnovers unofficially in the quarter. And Whitlock going for the three-point play. Holy Family's good basketball team, but Fort Morgan's doing this to themselves. Now to convert the three-point play here is Tyler Whitlock. She's got eight points in the game. And the free throw is up, and it's in. Holy Family, 20. Let's see if they cut that up there right. Two, three, five. I'm not sure I can trust them entirely. Yeah, 23 to 12 should be the score. And we have a foul in the backcourt against Holy Family that was committed by Genevieve Gudino her second with 3.05 to go Keller to throw it in in the backcourt to Griffith overhead pass is taken by Keller Keller looked like she was bodied up and fouled she was by McKenzie that'll be the 16th foul McKenzie with her first The inbounds pass to Griffith. Griffith dribbles to her right. Griffith over to Keller in front of the Holy Family bench. Right baseline, double teamed. I don't know what she's trying to do, but forcing it over there. And we got a whistle. And that's Keller committing a foul in the backcourt. She's forcing it way too much. Eighth turnover for Fort Morgan. Keller with her second foul. Holy Family with a one and one. Fort Morgan was in a nice rhythm in the opening quarter, but again, they're playing the type of game Holy Family wants them to play. And Caitlin McKenzie, who's yet to score, will step to the stripe. And the free throw is up and off to the left. That three hit by Christensen to begin the game brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions. They work with the community to make sure there are jobs for the members of the communities they're in. Cargill Mead Solutions. The board says it's a 12-point lead. I have it as 11. Second free throw is up, and that one is short. And a nice block out by Christensen for her fourth rebound. Christensen out of the pack, behind the back. And then she was fouled. That'll be the 17th foul. And that's either Gudino or McKenzie. That is McKenzie with her second. One and one for Christensen. Mustangs only have three field goals in the game. And the free throw is no good. Spins out. The rebound to Anarud. Anarud feeds it over to Dylan Sanders. 
Sanders to Andrew, back to Sanders, spinning at the top, at the free throw line, on the race, right baseline to Whitlock, and now the three attempted, and that's missed off the back side of the rim, missed by Amanda Ward. Keller with a rebound for Fort Morgan, that's her fourth. Maddie Griffith into the front court, she's got a three on three, middle of the lane, 15 foot pull up, might have been partially blocked, it's short, and the ball is pulled away by Dylan Sanders, her third rebound. 2.09 to go in the opening quarter. Ward down low to Honorud. Misses the left-handed bank. And then it's out of bounds off Honorud. Fort Morgan basketball. And to throw it in will be Lauren Keller. Keller over to Griffith. Griffith in the backcourt. Trapped underneath her own basket. Fort Morgan needs a timeout. That's a good one called by Mitch Elric. Very good one. 23 to 12. Again, not the official score, but that's the one I got. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. That's Buildings by Design. So 23 to 12. And we'll see if they fix that score at halftime. It'll be Fort Morgan basketball, and they needed to call that timeout. If not, there would have been Called for 10 seconds. Allie Christensen had two threes in the opening quarter. Fort Morgan did not have a two-point field goal until Numero Longo got a rebound and banked it in. Along the side, I believe that's Keller. I'm blocked off. She will inbounds the basketball towards Frasco. Frasco across the timeline. Frasco bounce pass back out to Maddie Griffith. Griffith on the high right, picks up the dribble, overhead pass to Keller. Keller straight away with a basketball, with a crossover dribble, now to Maddie Griffith, guarded there by Sanders. Now she retreats towards the timeline. Griffith, overhead pass on the high left to Keller. Keller, left of the lane, back on the baseline here as Griffith picks up her dribble, can't do too much of that, at the free throw line for Frasco, fouled by Amanda Ward. That'll be the 18 foul. And Whitney Frasco to shoot the one and one. And the free throw is up, and that's short. And the rebound is into the hands of Anarud. That's her sixth rebound. On the high right, Sanders with the basketball. Minute 23 to go. Over to Whitlock, back to Sanders. Picks up the dribble. Bounce pass in the lane. Gudino, left-handed shot is up, and it's off to the left. And then the ball is volleyballed around. Christensen trying to chase it down. Instead, Amanda Ward has it. She drives, banks, and scores. All the way to the rack was Amanda Ward. She's got five. Holy Family leads. Well, they've got 25. I'm not going to mention Fort Morgan's score until it's corrected. On the outside right, Frasco. Cross court to Keller. We've got 56 seconds to go. To Maddie Griffith all the way. Tried to bank it, and then it was blocked out of bounds by Onward. Holy Family with their third block of the game unofficially. And let's see who throws that in. That'll be Whitney Frasco for Fort Morgan. There's the lob into Christensen. Christensen, 16 foot straight away, back rimmed, and then Frasco puts it up and in straight away. Little six footer for Frasco, says 13, but it should be 14. 38 seconds to go. And then a steal, nearly a steal by Keller in the front court as the ball got loose. Here's Amanda Ward on the right baseline. Cross court pass towards mid court is going to be taken, intercepted by Keller. Keller all the way was fouled as she drove to the basket and fouled by Gudino. That's her third foul on Lauren Keller to the line. So Keller to shoot two. And the free throw is off to the right. Fill up your cooler and gas up your car. Stubbs Gas and Oil, easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. Stubbs Gas and Oil. Second free throw is in. Mustangs trail by 11 on the board. 
right away with a basketball. To the left over there is Alyssa Wells. Now Wells in the right baseline. Eight seconds to go. Sanders back out to Wells. Gets a pick. Backs up. Now straight away for Ward. Ward a pick. Right at length. Two seconds to go. Now a long three by Wells. is an air ball. That's the end of the opening half. And again, we'll, we'll go downstairs and see if we get a correction on the score. It's a three-minute break. Holy Family, 25, Fort Morgan. Either 14 or 15 at the break on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Let's head to the second half with the Fort Morgan Mustangs. In the first of two, trail the Holy Family Tigers, 25 to 14. Again, Holy Family led by Tyler Whitlock's nine points. And Amanda Ward actually had five in the opening half. Now let's set the Mustang lineup. It'll be Maddie Griffith, Lauren Keller, Ali Christensen, Ali Bauman, and Whitney Frasco for Fort Morgan. Amanda Ward, Caitlin McKenzie, Genevieve Gudino, Cecilia Onrud, and Titer Whitlock for Holy Family. And to throw it in will be Amanda Ward. With the basketballs, McKenzie, and then we got a whistle. We had a warning there against Mitch Elric, who had a foot on the court. And I want to make sure that both coaches got to be on the sidelines, not in the, not anywhere in play. So here we go to throw it in. Along the side will be Ward for Holy Family. Back over to McKenzie. Whitlock spinning left of the lane. Whitlock in the left corner. Back out. Now the three by Gudino is off the front of the rim. And the ball is loose on the floor. And it's a tie-up. Tie-up points towards Holy Family. I check that towards Fort Morgan. So the Mustangs have the basketball. With the basketball is Bauman. Front court pass to Christensen. Christensen all the way, leans, banks, and misses. Body contact, no whistle. Amanda Ward with a rebound. Long pass to Gudino. She banks it in with the left hand. Gudino now with three. And Lauren Keller was fouled on the backcourt. See, she was fouled by Gudino. Or, or was she? It's only her third foul up there. I would have had four, but nonetheless. Here we go with Maddie Griffith just across the timeline. Griffith on a bounce pass to Lauren Keller. Keller lost the basketball, gets it right back over to Bauman. 27 to 14, Holy Family. 7.05 to go in the third. Bauman over to Keller on the high left to Bauman. Back out to Keller. Mustangs just worked this basketball around. Maddie Griffith behind the three-point line. Straight away to Keller. Keller over to Griffith. Right of the lane. All the way. Had the shot blocked by Honorud, but there's the foul on Honorud. Got it with the body. Honorud commits her third. Griffith to the line. Maddie Griffith has not scored in the game. And the free throw's way, way, way short. Second free throw upcoming. She bends. She shoots. And connects. Twenty-seven fifteen. There's the handoff to the McKenzie. McKenzie with the basketball as Christensen goes to the floor. Right corner, Ward, wide open three. No good, and then Christensen fouled her. That's not a good foul there by Christensen. 
she must have been frustrated because she went to the floor maybe she was pushed and then she fouls a three-point shooter after getting up and I think they're going to take her out of the game Kelsey Callas and Autumn Wheatley about to check in and the free throw by Ward is good Second free throw up coming. That one is up and that is in and out. And Christensen and Maddie Griffith are out of the game. Third free throw for Ward. Up and in. In the backcourt, Keller with the basketball, and then Keller carried the ball. Thirteen turnover for Fort Morgan. On the outside right with the basketball is McKenzie. Near the top for Gudino. Gudino right of the lane, and then she's fouled. Now we're getting sloppy here on both sides. Uh, Fort Morgan foul on Autumn Wheatley. Both teams with two fouls. We haven't even played a minute 40. In the left corner, the Gudino three, yes. Off the inbounds pass. She's got five in the quarter, six in the game. Holy Family leads 32 to 15. Autumn Wheatley still in the backcourt. Front court pass thrown right into the hands of Caitlin McKenzie, 14 turnover for Fort Morgan. Long pass, Gudino hands it off to Anderud, banks and scores, Fort Morgan needs a timeout. Anderud with 10, the Mustangs are down by 19. Bauman to Callis, down low for Frasco, she banks, contact, no whistle. Amanda Ward grabs the rebound, I can't believe there was no whistle there. Ward with her fourth rebound, now we got a whistle and a carrying violation against Ward. Only the four turnover there for Holy Family. Keller is out, Maddie Griffith back in. So the Mustangs are down big now. Colorado Plains Medical Center has experienced physicians and a highly trained surgical team trained in the latest surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown. Colorado Plains Medical Center. Holy Family commits a foul now. See, they got to put that on the board. I'm not sure they called it on. Yep, that's going to be McKenzie with her fourth. Bauman in the backcourt to Maddie Griffith. Overhead pass to Bauman. Now in the front court to Wheatley. Wheatley with a left handed dribble. Over to Bauman. Now to Wheatley straight away. Wheatley cross court pass to Bauman. Then she threw it towards Christensen. She was cutting to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. Now Fort Morgan has as many turnovers as they have points, so they've got to get going here. 15 turnovers and 15 points. Left-handed dribble for Sanders. Sanders against Wheatley. Right of the lane, back out in the lane is Gudino. Jump pass to Sanders, Sanders spinning. Feeds Gudino, jump pass straight away to Whitlock, dribbles right into the lane, back out towards Gudino, dribbles the ball off her foot into the hands of Ali Christensen. Christensen then had the ball stripped by Gudino, and then the ball is loose in the floor, sent in by Ward, and she's going to feed it over to Sanders who banks it in. Oh, the Mustangs getting way too careless with the basketball. Down by 21, 4.36 to go in the third. And then Wheatley's pass is intercepted over there by Gudino, two on one, over to Ward, Banks, and she missed it, and then Otterwood has it blocked, and it's back out to Sanders again, another Fort Morgan turnover. As Holy Family resets, but then a throw away to Maddie Griffith. Griffith, middle of the lane, swings it to Callis, Callis puts it up, back rim, no good. Otterwood grabs her eighth rebound. On the outlet, here's Sanders, Sanders with a two on two, pulls up from ten, yes. On the right wing, Sanders scores. She's got four, Holy Family leads. 
38 to 15, and now a steal in the backcourt. Allie Christensen rubbed the ball. Here is Ward. She runs right into Keller and then feeds Anarud, and then she lost the ball to Callis. Holy family with four turnovers in this quarter. And then Maddie Griffith fouled from behind. This is awful basketball to watch, even on Holy Family's side, because they're making some mistakes here. And I think that was Sanders committing the foul, her first. Holy Family's committed four fouls and made four turnovers in the quarter, so they're taking advantage of Fort Morgan's mistakes, but they're making mistakes they weren't making in the opening half. So 38 to 15. Maddie Griffith then is fouled at midcourt. And that foul might have been against Cudino. Now Godino's out of the game. Nope, that's going to be Sanders in center second. Here is Keller in the left corner for Pelton into the game. Straight away, pass intended for Griffith. It's intercepted over there by Alyssa Wells, then re-intercepted by the Mustangs. And Griffith, and she misses the layup, but she's hacked in the act. Man, how did this game get so out of hand and undisciplined? I mean, this is very, very difficult ugly basketball right now we've had a combined 13 turnovers in the quarter we're barely halfway through and Maddie Griffith to shoot too that foul was on Amanda Ward her second now the Griffith free throws off the back of the rim Second free throw upcoming. And that one is short, but the ball's rebounded by Maddie. A little 10 foot pull up is off the back of the rim. And then the rebound to Dylan Sanders. Sanders with a fourth rebound. Long pass, and the shot is missed by Thomas. And the rebound is pulled away by Fort Morgan. Honorud commits the foul in the backcourt. That's already the 17th foul. Honorud's fourth. Well, we we're going to start the boys' game closer to 4 o'clock with all these fouls being committed by Holy Family. Who knows? Autumn Wheatley to the line. They do lead 38 to 15. They've outscored Fort Morgan 13 to 1 in the quarter. One and one situation for Wheatley. Free throw good. Second free throw. Is up and good. 38-17. With a basketball, Sanders straight away for Thomas. Down entry pass is poked away, but Sanders has it off the deflection. Then towards Honorud, that pass is knocked away. Here's Alyssa Wells with a basketball bounce pass. Left corner, Whitlock three, yes. That's good by Whitlock. Whitlock now with 12. Holy Family leads 41-17. Griffith front court pass to Wheatley. Wheatley dribbles to her left. Feeds it cross court to Keller. Left baseline. Here's Pelton. Pelton lost the basketball, but it was poked out of bounds in the last second there by Noel Garden. And now we have a substitution as Aaron Winters checks into the game for the second time. Griffith lobs it into Wheatley on the high left. And then Wheatley ties up, or is tied up by Sanders. And the basketball to Holy Family. Yep, starting to get ugly here for the Mustangs. Here is... Sanders with the basketball, bounce pass down low. I'm not sure who is intended for it, but another tie-up. Fort Morgan with a possession arrow. So they'll have the ball. 15 turnovers combined in the quarter. Maddie Griffith in the backcourt for Fort Morgan. She had the ball stripped away by Sanders. Feeds it down low, and the layup is up and in for Alyssa Wells. 
off Fort Morgan's 10th turnover of the quarter. I mean, this is what happened in the third quarter against Erie. They just fell apart. And they actually had the lead at halftime of that game. Here they were down by only 11, and now they're down by 26, a foul on Holy Family, just beyond midcourt, one and one situation. Holy Family fans don't like it, but they're up by 26, and after all, their defense is way too tight there. There was contact, and a foul on Tyler Whitlock. Free throw up coming. And it's up and in. Free throw is good for Whitlock. Uh, check that for Griffith as Whitlock committed the foul. That one is up and that one's in as well. Mustangs with a 43 to 19. A trail here to Holy Family, less than two minutes to go in the third with a basketball as Sanders, and then she threw the ball away. Intercepted by Wheatley. Here comes Wheatley the other way. She tries to put it up and she fouled. Looked like Gabby Thomas might have got all ball. So another debate there. But instead, to the line will be Autumn Wheatley again. Nine fouls committed by Holy Family in the quarter, only two for Fort Morgan, but the game is already a 24-point lead for Holy Family, and the Mustangs have struggled for the line. That's another missed free throw. Mustangs have missed four. There are eight free throws here in the third quarter. Second free throw coming up for Autumn Wheatley. That one's up, and that one's off the back of the rim. And the rebound to Noel Garden. That's her first on the outlet to Sanders. Sanders jump pass to Garden. Garden straight away the basketball. Feeds it outside left to Wells. Wells near that left corner to Garden. Garden dribbles towards the top. Feeds it in the left corner back to Wells. Now with the basketball. Wells to Garden. 16-footer. Back rim no good. Ball is out of bounds. That's off Lauren Keller. Holy Family retains possession. Sanders to throw it in, lobs it down low for Garden. Now Sanders left baseline shot is good from about 10 feet away. Excellent passing there by Holy Family. She's got six on the quarter. Then Maddie Griffith runs out of room and she stepped on the baseline. 11 turnovers in the quarter for Fort Morgan. They now trail 45 to 19. Sanders near the top here for Wells. Fakes that three. And then her pass is intercepted by Keller. But then she lost control of the basketball. And here comes Holy Family. They've committed eight turnovers. Holy Family has three in the corner. Yes. Nailed by Gabby Thomas. The first points of the game. 48 to 19. Autumn Wheatley dribbles across midcourt for Fort Morgan. She gets a pick all the way. Runs into a defender. Offensive foul on Wheatley. Going to the floor there was Aaron Winters. That also counts as a turnover for Fort Morgan. They're 13th of the quarter. They had 12 in the opening half. They're down 48 to 19. They're being outscored in the quarter, 23 to five. Here is Sanders on the outside left to Thomas. Thomas at the top for Garden. Inside the three-point line, she drills the shot. Wide open was Garden. That's eight players in the scoring column. Then a steal by Wells, and a three is missed over there by Thomas. And Wheatley with a rebound for Fort Morgan. Here is Maddie Griffith, 15 seconds to go. Middle lane, five-foot pull-up. She back-rimmed it, and the rebound to Noel Garden. And then the Mustangs come away with a steal. Here's Mamara Longo. She scores in the lane. Romero Longo's got five. One second to go. And that'll be the end of the quarter. Holy Family outscores Fort Morgan in the quarter, 25 to seven. It's a one minute break. Holy Family 50, Fort Morgan 21 on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. John Beltran back at Holy Family High School in Broomfield. The Holy Family girls dominating Fort Morgan here, 50 to 21. Gudino left of the lane with a basketball. Will set the line up momentarily. Backs up for a three and drills it. Gudino, the leading scorer for the team this season, only scored one point in the opening half. 
but now has nine in the game. And Holy Family leads 53 to 21. With the basketball is Emma Wolf out there with Ali Bauman, Ali Christensen, Destiny Pelton, and Kelsey Callis. At the free throw line is Christensen. Back out to Wolf, three in the air is no good. And the rebound is controlled by Holy Family's Caitlin McKenzie. Here is Gudino all the way. Left handed layup is up and she missed it. Too strong. Allie Christensen comes away with the basketball for the Mustangs. Fort Morgan the other way. Here is Allie Bauman well behind that three point line. On the outside right to Wolf, back to Bauman. Working around slowly with 6.43 to go in the game. Holy Family up by. 32, free throw line for Christensen, and then she's tied up. Oh, they're going to call a foul instead. Nice job by Allie, trying to make sure it wasn't taken away from her. Gudino commits her fourth. Double bonus, Christensen. Nailed two three-pointers in the first quarter. Fort Morgan actually had a 5-2 to two lead. And the free throw is around and no good. Fort Morgan now is 5 out of 11 from the line in this second half. They were 5 out of 7 in the first half. That free throw is good. Alley now with 7. Holy Family 53, Fort Morgan 22. With the basketball, Aaron. And the board check that, not Winters. Here is McKenzie in the lane all the way. Throws up a wild shot, misses. Christensen grabs the Fort Morgan rebound. And then a steal there in the backboard. Then Fort Morgan steals some of what we saw in the third quarter. In the backcourt, Emma Wolf jump pass to Bauman. Here's Christensen, 14 footer straight away. Missed it. And the ball is pulled away by Amanda Ward of Holy Family. Here is McKenzie the other way. Throws it up on the runner. That is no good. But the rebound to Anarud. She banks and misses with the left hand, but she's fouled. Foul was committed by Pelton. Oh, they're going to say Kelsey Callis, excuse me, instead. Free throw by Anarud is perfect. Man, that was a swish. She's got 11, and I mean that one, one of those soft swishes. Numero Longo has had a good game for Fort Morgan. She's back in. Second free throw is short, and the ball is tipped away. Now it's rebounded over there by the Mustangs and Whitney Frasco. Here is Christensen, left wing three is way short. And the ball rebounded over there by the Holy Family Tigers. The layup is missed, though, by McKenzie after the rebound was controlled there by Genevieve Gudino. Then Griffin is the rebound. Fort Morgan, Numero Longo misses the shot off that pass. And then it's taken away again by Holy Family. Long pass to Gudino. She scores. Mustangs not getting back on defense. They're clearly tired now. 56-22. Christensen left wing three is blocked. Blocked by Anarud. Amanda Ward has the basketball. Quickly the other way. Holy Family. Anarud banks and scores. Off the feed from Genevieve Gudino. And the Mustangs call a full timeout. We'll stay right here. They're down by 36, 58 to 22. And again, we knew this would be the case playing a, a very, very solid team. Four losses going in, but Holy Family has played some very hard teams in Regis Jesuit and Valor Christian but Fort Morgan hung for the first 16 minutes of the game but they have met their match here without a doubt and now they got to figure out a way just to finish this off as competitive as possible so the Mustangs will break the huddle here momentarily Aaron Winters Along with Gabby Thomas, Noel Garden. Let's see if Amanda Ward is back out there for Holy Family. Nope. Dylan Sanders. And 
And Alyssa Wells for Holy Family. The Mustangs with Frasco, Wheatley, Numero Longo, Griffith, and Emma Wolf will inbound the ball in the backcourt. Here's Maddie Griffith on the outside left. Dribbling left baseline is Wheatley. She's cut off over there. Looking, still looking. Feeds it back out to Griffith. Griffith at the top. Crossover dribble. Dribbles right of the lane. All the way. Shot is up and she's missed it, but she's fouled. Now we got two officials converging. Did they have the same call? But that was clearly a defensive foul on Holy Family. 4.47 to go. To the line is Maddie Griffith. Aaron Winters commits her second. Let's see, the Mustangs can hit free throws, but nope. Griffith a little bit too deep with that one. And number two is upcoming. Emma Wolf is out. Lauren Keller is back in. Bending, shooting, and scoring is Maddie Griffith. 58-23. Sanders the other way. And then she carried the ball. Holy Family with 14 turnovers. For Morgan with 27. Big difference in this game. It got away from them once again in the third quarter as it did against Erie on Thursday. Autumn Wheatley on the high left. Backing it out to Keller. Keller towards the top. High right now to Maddie Griffith. Griffith cannot get by the defender. They are playing some excellent defense as Holy Family. Griffith right of the lane all the way. Forces it up off the glass. Blocking foul. She missed. And to the line will be Griffith. Even though Aaron Winters went to the floor. Fort Morgan doing a nice job of being aggressive. But Griffith again. Can Griffith score here? Make two free throws. And a challenge for the Mustangs for the line. This one is perfect. Second free throw up coming for Griffith. 58-24 in favor of Holy Family. The second one is in. All right, Maddie's done a nice job here. She's made five of her last six, including three in a row. 58-25, under four minutes to go. Lob down low for Winter. She banks and she misses. And a strong rebound pulled down by Lauren Keller. That's her fifth. Keller with a right-handed dribble into the front court. Had it stripped from behind, but it's taken by a Mustang. Autumn Whitley pulls up and misses from 10. Got nothing but glass. Noel Garden with a rebound for Holy Family. 3.43 to go in the game. Dribbling left base on his Thomas. Foul by Wheatley. 15 foul. And for Wheatley, that is her third personal. Let's see who throws it in for Holy Family. That'll be Sanders. Lob left corner. Thomas three. Gabby Thomas in and out. And then Winters had the ball fell down but picked up by Garden. And then she kicks it back out. Another three, Sanders. That's going to be short. And Alyssa Wells grabs it, feeds it over to Garden, and she misses for the baseline. And then it's saved in again by Holy Family. That's four rebounds there. There's Wells in the lane to Garden, cross court to Sanders. In the right corner, Thomas, three. That's off the back of the rim. And Lauren Keller grabs the rebound for Fort Morgan, but that was way too many opportunities. The runner in the lane is missed by Griffith. Numero Longo picks it up, misses. She goes back up, misses again. And then as Wheatley goes back up, and she misses. And then the putback is up and in by Keller. That's on the Mustangs at the boards. Wow. That's a lot of second chances there by both teams on both ends. And the ball is poked out of bounds by Griffith. Into the Holy Family bench. And the clock is running, by the way, because of the, the point rule. They're up by 31. But once you fall behind, I believe, I thought it was a 35-point rule. I could be wrong about that. Three in the corner by Wells is good. 61-27. So, yeah, it's a running clock the rest of the way. Maddie Griffith for Fort Morgan in the high left to Keller. Keller back out to Wheatley. Now to Griffith, right of the lane, all the way. Misses the runner. And the rebound to Garden of Holy Family. 
There's the long pass to Sanders. Sanders into the front court. She's fouled from behind by Keller. 16 foul. Keller commits her third. Substitutions on both sides. Holy family to throw it in. There's the, and as they clear the bench, so they're going with players who haven't played at all, and that three is off the back of the rim. Rebounded, though, by Winters. It was missed over there by Abby Cougar. Holy family resets. There's the lob down low, off the hand. Let's see, we got to... Yeah, they're not even on the varsity roster. They're just wearing... These are JV players. Clock is still running, by the way, and then that three is missed. Holy Family grabbing another rebound, but again by a player we don't have on the roster. That's how much this game has got out of hand. That they're going with their 12th and 13th players. Holy Family retains possession with a running clock and only 49 seconds to go. Gabby Thomas on the high left. Thomas straight away. Beats it left side and the ball's out of bounds. Holy Family with a turnover. They've committed 15 in the game. More than likely, that'll be their last. I think Fort Morgan will have the final possession as they have 28 seconds to go. Maddie Griffith calls out the play, gets a picture of right all the way. Banks and scores. Maddie Griffith has driven well to the right of the basket. She's had a nice second half with all eight of her points. 61 to 29. And nope, it's another turnover for Holy Family. They threw it away. Here's Griffith the other way. 10-foot pull-up is off to the right. Rebound to Marilongo, and she misses. And then it's rebounded by Holy Family, and that'll be it. And the game is over. The Holy Family Tigers defeat the Fort Morgan Mustangs here in the first of two games. Final score. 61 to 29. We'll, we'll stay here for just a bit until we are seeing that clock roll. And we'll get you here to the boys' game. But Holy Family pulled it all together in this second half. And they win handily 61 to 29 over the Fort Morgan Mustangs. As they outscored Fort Morgan 36 to 15 in the second half. They've yet to start the clock. All right, so now we will take a break. It's a three minute break. Final score once again. Holy Family 61, Fort Morgan 29. We'll come back in three minutes with a recap of this game on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. Uh, the Mustang Post Game Show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. They are there to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional -trad students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. Four Morgan Mustang girls go down to defeat the Holy Family 61-29. A 13-8 lead after one for Holy Family. Then they outscored Fort Morgan 12-6 in the second quarter. Only an 11-point lead at the break. But then a 25-7 third quarter. 11 to 8 in the fourth and that was it as Holy Family moves to 4 and 4 and Fort Morgan drops to 4 and 5. The visiting Mustangs were led by Maddie Griffiths 8 points, 7 for Allie Christensen. Autumn Wheatley had 2 in the game, Clementina Numerolanga with 5. 5 as well for Lauren Keller, 2 for Whitney Frasco. 3 players in double figures for Holy Family. Cecilia Honorud at 13, 12 for Tyler Whitlock. Genevieve Godina with 11. Amanda Ward with 7. 7 for Alyssa Wells. Dylan Sanders with 6. And then Gabby Thomas at 3. And 2 in the game for Noel Garden. Mustangs at 27 turnovers and officially 16 for Holy Family. Holy Family was 8 out of 14 from the line. Mustangs attempted 23 free throws and made 14. So they were a shade over 60%. The Holy Family was at 
Rebounding, Holy Family at 34, the Mustangs 26. Mustangs got seven from Keller and nine for the leading rebounder for Holy Family all season, Cecilia Anarud. Mustang player of the game is brought to you by TransWest. They believe that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan or Sterling today, TransWest. And the player of the game for Fort Morgan, Clementina Numera Longo. Didn't play a lot of minutes, but she was very effective. Five points and four rebounds. And she is the Fort Morgan Mustang Trans West player of the game. It's a final three-minute break. One more three-minute break, then we will begin the boys game from Broomfield at Holy Family High School. As the Fort Morgan girls lose to Holy Family, 61 to 29, we're back in three minutes on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.